Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on, guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today, I have got some information regarding something new coming into the game tomorrow, something we really haven't seen. Uh, originally, everyone just thought it was going to be like a couple new power up players, which we technically are getting new power up players tomorrow but it's not exactly what you would expect. So I'll go over that as well. But I know that I'm going to get asked about it. Uh, they did talk about Journey 4 again. He didn't mention when it's going to be coming out or anything. Uh, position Heroes. He didn't mention anything about Position Heroes on this here I'm talking to. I'm talking about Prelo, of course. Uh, didn't mention anything about Position Heroes. Didn't mention anything about Journey 4. Didn't really mention anything about a new promo coming this week either. Maybe they're still working to get stuff around. Of course, you guys have to remember that, you know, they're working from home. So maybe all these promos and stuff not going to be on the exact same day as they were last year but i still expect to see position heroes probably sometime this week at least i hope to see it sometime this week but i do want to give a shout out to alice lewis for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel turn that notification bell on and comment down below noti gang so let me go ahead and talk about this new power up expansion that we have coming tomorrow so these are the power-ups that we have coming out tomorrow now you guys may notice that we actually already have three of these power-ups in the game we already have jason elam we already have corey and we already have sean phillips in the game all three of them already have got power-ups so they're not getting a new power-up but they're a part of the expansion okay so it's a little bit weird but i'm gonna talk to you guys about it it's not super super complicated it took me a second but you guys will understand. Uh, but we actually do have three new powers coming to the game tomorrow. Two of them don't even have cards in the game. Navarro Bowman and Nate Burleson. And I have to say, I could not be more excited for Navarro Bowman. That is going to be incredible. And not only is it going to be fun because it's Navarro Bowman, but you're going to be able to get him up to 98 overall tomorrow. That's awesome. Uh, but Cordell Stewart, of course, is also going to be getting a new power-up as well. Uh, you can see that he's actually a QB. I'm just now noticing, actually, that he's a QB and not a running back. So, I guess, actually, we've got three new power-ups coming tomorrow, anyways, with the Cordell Stewart, Navarro Bowman, and Nate Burleson. I didn't notice it was QB at all when I took screenshots. So, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, keep in mind... I'm pretty sure you can't run half that Cordell and also QB Cordell at the same time. So if you guys want to use them, then you probably won't be able to do both. But QB Cordell Stewart, Navarro Bowman, and Nate Burleson. So let me go over exactly what is coming out. And also, I'm going to mention here, myself included, I'm sure you guys as well, probably a little bit disappointed, right? Because we wanted to see a lot of new players. Uh, a little bit weird that they decided to do what they actually did with these cards they basically it's just kind of weird the way they did it you guys can see right here you can see we do have the Corey schlesinger right so with Corey, he has the theme diamonds he has everything with nate burleson with qb cordell stewart and with navarro bowman they don't have cards in the game so what i was thinking was okay maybe they're going to be a part of a new promo coming out very very soon they're giving them power-ups now and then tomorrow they'll drop a new promo that is not the case so as you guys can see with Corey, right you can currently get him up to an 89 overall well tomorrow you're gonna be able to power him up with a bunch of training and then right here you can see your tier 11 32,000 training points or an item and that item is a power pass so if you guys want to you can use your power pass on Corey here and get him up to a 98 or just use straight up training so i'm gonna be honest here it's a little weird why they decided to do this, and it almost makes me think that maybe they're having a bit of a hard time putting promos together, because if they have six cards, right? If they have the QB Cordell Stewart, if they have the Navarro Bowman, if they have the Nate Burleson, why not just put out a promo, and these six players right here, why not just incorporate them into the promo and give them new high overall cards? Instead, we just have power-ups. And it's just kind of a thought that I have. But you can see 98 overall Corey Schlesinger there. Uh, and then we also got Nate Burleson. So as I said, Nate Burleson doesn't have any cards in the game, right? So he is strictly going to be power him all the way up with training tomorrow. You guys can see his stats right there with 96 speed, 95 acceleration. He also is getting a 90 carrying and a 97 catch. 
And here are his actual full stats here. 96 speed, 98 jump, and a 6 feet tall. With 97 catching, 93 catch traffic, 95 spec catch, 94 short, 96 medium, and 92 deep routing. It's actually a really, really good card. Like, it actually looks like an overall pretty dang solid card. So, Nate Burleson, I don't know if I'll be picking him up on the team. I definitely want to get uh, Navarro Bowman. I don't know about Cordell. Unfortunately, I don't have the stats of Navarro Bowman, and I also don't have the stats of Cordell Stewart. They did not show them, but these cards come out tomorrow. So that was the new power-ups that we have coming out tomorrow. I have to say, I am slight, it's kind of, I'm like disappointed, but also excited at the same time. The only reason I'm excited is for Navarro Bowman, honestly, because that is an awesome, awesome card to have in the game. However, I thought we were going to get like 10 brand new power-ups all that we got was players upgraded with powers we already have in the game and then we got three new players there's no players that are already in the game that got power-ups i know a lot of us wanted to see darnell savage there's a lot of the new 97 overall players that just came out with the draft promo and they never ended up getting a power-up. So I'm hoping that this is not it. I'm hoping that EA comes out tomorrow and says, hey, we're going to be dropping uh, some more power-ups as well. But this is all the info they gave us today. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'm sure some of you are going to be pretty excited to get yourself that Navarro Bowman, the Nate Burleson. Maybe you want to use QB Cordo Stewart. I don't even know what the stats are going to be on him. But it, it, it's a little weird, right? Like, we definitely expected to see a whole lot of new power-ups. And then they drop this on us. It's a little bit weird, but let's go ahead and get into these clutch packs right here. He's got a 94 Dave Casper first pack. Okay, that's a, kind of a weird pull. I was not expecting that at all. 40,000 coin pack, full 94 overall Dave Casper. Let's get into these clutch packs. So I'm going to open up all 10 of these clutch packs. My opinion, okay, as we get 95 Richard Sherman. Wow. So we got a 94 Dave Casper. Followed by a 95 series Redux Richard Sherman on back-to-back -back packs. Okay. <laughs> packs are looking pretty dang good today. My opinion, though, uh, I'm definitely disappointed in the fact that we're not getting, like, a bunch of players that are already in the game getting new cards or getting new power-ups so we can just power-up some we already have on our team. But I'm also kind of excited. So I guess for me personally, I'm more so excited about it strictly for navarro bowman but i definitely understand if you guys are kind of upset about it because we didn't get those new players like i said that we already have with the draft room so just let me know down below what you guys think about that but position heroes hopefully they'll announce that promo coming very very soon as we get 89 overall von bell right here to that pack uh hopefully they'll announce the position heroes pretty soon and also there's another promo that i just remembered this morning i'm gonna have a video for you guys later today going over it there's another promo that should be coming out maybe even this week, potentially next week. Uh, but with the way that EA is doing stuff, like it seems like maybe they just didn't want to put in a bunch of new power-ups, I guess. Maybe they don't have the work crew, I guess, possible to make it happen. As we get 86 overall Kevin Y right there. And also it looks like Position Hero promo is probably not going to come out at the exact time it did last year. Not exactly sure when this other promo is going to drop. But it could be, honestly, around the same exact time. He's 87 overall. McCall Hardman right there. By the way, when I tweeted out those screenshots, a lot of people said that they wanted McCall Hardman. And unfortunately, we didn't get him today. Uh, we get 91 overall DeMar Dotson right here. These packs have actually been pretty solid. We also get the 85 overall Larry Little. So let's do this final clutch pack right here. And I actually want to go see how much does that Richard Sherman sell for. As we get 80 overall, 92. 92 Tyler Lockett. Okay, these packs were actually pretty solid. Now, also, I want to mention we do have Navarro Boma coming. We do have the Nate Burleson coming. I don't know how much training it's going to cost, but it's going to cost a lot of training points if you're going to want to upgrade one of those guys. Keep in mind when you unpower up players, you do get some training back. So if you decided to go ahead and get, say, Navarro Bowman tomorrow and then you don't want him anymore, then there's that. You can go ahead and get some of your training back. Also, if you guys didn't see my video from yesterday, go check it out because I'm actually giving away this cornerback Mike Evans right here. Go check that video out so you can see exactly how to win that cornerback Mike Evans or enter for the giveaway of Mike Evans anyways. But it looks like that Richard Sherman is what, like 200K maybe? 159K. That's actually not bad. So we spent 400,000 coins. We got the 95 overall Richard Sherman and we also got the 94 overall dave casper which is 50k so right there is about 200k we made half of our coins back off the packs 
Did we make 200k off the other pulls though? Probably not. Probably didn't end up making our coins back. But with that being said, guys, that is all the info that I have for you guys regarding what is coming out tomorrow. That is the new Power Up expansion, as EA called it. So unfortunately, that's going to be it. But let me know down below your guys' opinions on it. And hopefully they'll announce Position Hero sometime later this week. They'll talk about some other sort of promo, because let's be honest here, we need some promos, EA. You guys know everyone's home. Everyone's stuck at their house. Give us some new players to use. The draft promo gave us a lot of fun players to use. But now, we need to keep the ball moving. I know we're getting later in the year. I know we are now down to May. There is only a couple months left of Madden 20, but give us something exciting. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.